starting to record. Right. Check, check, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Recording purposes, if I can get your name, please. Sean Jones. And the name of the show and summer series is? Soul in the City of Casaloma. Sean, I always know that when I speak to you, it's going to be great weather like we have here in Toronto. I'm going to be here at Casa Loma, one of the most iconic venues in this city or in this country, and one of the best summer series musically is going to be happening. And you know what I'm talking about, my friend. Uh, you're, you're, you must be talking about Soul in the City? I'm talking Soul in the City. <laughs> How does it feel, man, to be part of... Now, really, this is an important music fabric for the city for the summer, um, just great music, great fun, great food and everything. And my friend, you're the architect for this. Well, you know, um, we're in our fifth year now. Uh, so I think that's pretty special, fifth year anniversary. We started from 200 people and we've grown this thing to a thousand plus on a Monday night, every single night for the summertime. And, you know, we got to be proud of, my, of ourselves for that. I mean, my band is absolutely amazing, The Righteous Echo. Um, Nick DiDonato and Jeffrey Latimer, who came up with uh, the idea for the whole entire thing, uh, got to thank them. But yeah, it's turned into something absolutely special. And I mean, you're in the backyard of a castle. It's, it's just the perfect setting, you know what I mean? When everything comes together, everything came together for this. I, I, I want to sort of push this. You've kind of done, I mean, we're going to talk about the series, of course, but you've sort of done different versions of that here, haven't you? Well, you know... I call it different versions. Uh, well, you know, yeah, I mean, we, we change it up, you know, um, every year, but there's always... What stays consistent is that there's always great music. Yes. Um, there's always a great band. Yes. And there's always great guest artists absolutely every single time you know and here's the thing that's really important too um the guest artists um some some of these people people don't know anything about but when the night's over 100 percent. that's what kind of what we pride ourselves on um is the fact that i'm giving a stage to people who probably wouldn't get a chance to get in front of the the crowd that comes to casa loma um, and so we're very, very happy about that. Like I, um, opening night uh, tonight, we have uh, Avery Raquel, this young girl with pipes that are like unbelievable. Like Molly Johnson was even just like, "Wow, jeez, you, you got some, you got some pipes, girl." We got Juno Award uh, nominated artist Nuella Charles, and of course we have Molly Johnson. Um, so we've got you know all the way from just starting out to nominated for a Juno to a, a legend. I think she's got the Order of Canada. And, yes. Yeah. So. You know, like we, we we tick off every single box and and then we have the band of course and hopefully I do a good job. And hopefully, hopefully you know Okay, let me ask you okay, and that was funny, I was thinking about this before I was going, do I ask him this question or not? Um and we're gonna get more into this. Have any women thrown their panties at oh, you no. yet? No panties yet. Ah, no, no panties. Really? Not on this stage. No, ah. not on. <laughs> but no, there has been a I, stage. There has been a stage mm. in my previous life with uh, a wonderful <laughs> band called In Essence, where yes, there were panties that were thrown, and we had a great time. But this is a little bit more of a conservative crowd. But you know, by the end of the night, everybody is up, sweating, dancing. Okay, it's I want to. I'm going to stop you there because I want you to go through the motions and what how this works. Because first thing, people come in, yeah. and is there's like a light dinner and drinks. Well, you know. Um, the show starts at 7.30, yeah. but it's gotten so popular now that in order to get a seat, people are showing up at 5 o'clock. Right. So they come, they'll have some drinks, they'll have some dinner. The show starts at 7.30. Mm -hmm. I walk down from the castle every single show. Mm -hmm. I walk right through the middle of that pavilion and, and begin the show. Uh, we go through uh, an energetic, you know, first set, get everybody up and clapping and dancing and moving. And then we start bringing on special guests. Um, this year we're doing something a little bit different. In the second half of the show, um, we're bringing on more of a, a established artist like a Molly Johnson, like a Jackie Richardson. And I'm going to start talking to them. I'm going to ask them some, Finally, some questions. We've talked about this. I'll start interviewing them a tiny bit. Just so, you know, we don't want to do like a 20 minute thing, but nope. you know, they'll do two songs. I'll talk to them a bit so that the crowd, because sometimes the crowd doesn't know, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm even going to do that even with the newer, with I the know. newer artists, you know? So I think it's really, really important because once people know who you are and, are, and feel a little bit more vested, then they'll start to follow you. It's, 
it's a whole different game right now. It's not the same. It's hard to get on the radio. It's hard to cut through all the noise that's out there. But if I give you a stage for 10 minutes and start asking some questions to you so that people can get to know you, hopefully that'll that'll move the move the ball a couple more inches. I love that. I love that too. Um, and you, you know, you kind of mentioned that you know you said this. You got to get people up and going. You don't have to get anybody up because can you describe what the towards the end of the night is like? Well, yeah, <laughs> the end of the night is we call it just the dance set, the super medley um, where we put together this incredible section of music that there are songs that everybody knows for sure, but may not have heard in a long time. And they probably haven't heard it the way that we're mixing them in. Um, and, but it just turns into a big dance party. Literally, I invite everyone that's inside of this beautiful gardens to come inside the pavilion with the other 400 people. And it just, it's just a mosh pit. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no pushing, there's no shoving, but nope. everybody is just having a great time and everybody leaves on the greatest high. And then we head up to Blue Bloods, the restaurant that's in Casa Loma, and we have some drinks afterwards. You know, and the other thing people should realize too, that what's being performed on stage, like n that part of this, there's no real rehearsal because somebody could pop up there and, yeah, yeah. you know. Oh, absolutely. We've had um, Eric Benet, Macy Gray came by last year. She was just in town for the, uh, for the jazz festival. So her band, uh, one of the members had actually played with another one of our band members and invited her out. She came, she sat through the first half of the show <laughs> and I guess she felt inspired because the second half she was like, can I come up and do a couple songs? And I was like, <laughs> can you? Of course you can come up and do a couple of songs. Like do do five songs. Anyway, she did two songs. Crowd went absolutely crazy. It's it's that kind of show. You just never know who's actually going to show up and do something here. So that's also very cool. You know, and the last bonus to all this is this is one of the few places where you get to you get to dress up a little bit. You know, yeah. you you bring family and friends, and absolutely. you know what I'm saying. Absolutely. People always ask me, you know, I got to leave the kids at home. No. You don't actually. Lots of people bring their kids. You know, you may have to go home a bit early, especially if it's a baby, but you can still bring your kids down and catch the first half of the show. We end at 10 o'clock. Like, it's not like there's a late, late show that's going on and everybody, you know, dresses up nice and you're underneath the stars and the sunshine. And oh, man, it's I, I can't say enough about it. I'm so happy and blessed, really. Sure. To, uh, to have this gig and to be doing it for five years. When so many music venues around this city, unfortunately, are closing, you know, I have a residency at a castle, a successful residency. Wait, 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 say that one more time because I know you never thought you'd ever say I that know, in your life. I have a residency at a castle. A lot of people do dark clubs. I have literally a castle that I that I come to every single week. And, it's, uh, and the people here are great, man, the yeah. staff, Give it up to the staff here, the wait staff, the bar staff, the, the production staff that sets up at 9 o'clock in the morning every single Monday for us. Give it up to all of them, man, and my band once again, man. They put in some work. Okay, so how does this work for fans who have never been here before? What days, when, when is this all coming together? It starts June 3rd, ends uh, August 26th. Every Monday between then, we will be here. Starts at 7.30, ends at 10 o'clock, doors open at 5, line up. You're going to have to come early if you want a good spot. You can have dinner here. There are, of course, drinks. And afterwards, uh, we head up to a beautiful steakhouse. Or you can have dinner at Blue Bloods, the wonderful steakhouse, and then come to the show, which is also a possibility as well. So um, you can buy tickets online, castelloma.ca. Um, you can go on my uh, website, seanjones.tv. And I believe even the names of the people that are performing are going to be listed on there as well as the dates. Um, or, yeah, you just... I mean, there's lots of ways. Or you can just come. It's never sold out. Never sold out. And and very quickly, too, new music coming out? Yes, sir, is new music coming out. Um, I did a, a wonderful project that I can't discuss fully, okay. but it is with WestJet, and it will be announced shortly. Um, and then maybe we'll have to come back and we'll have to talk about no. that because it's actually a, it's it's pretty big for for sean jones for anyone really it's uh, it's gonna be very cool my friend you are blessed congratulations you deserve all of this it, it kicks off tonight kicks off tonight we're at 7 30 we're just going through some stuff right now the band is rehearsing last minute stuff um but oh my goodness like we had Nuella charles and avery uh raquel and molly johnson sound check i am telling you this is going to be this show is crazy these women are unbelievable. 
I'm telling you. I cannot wait. And ladies, bring your panties to throw at the man. <laughs> He needs it. Please, just just a pair. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be like, you know, the sexy one. You know what I mean? Just just go buy a pair, $2 pair, and throw them. Make me feel good. Thank there you. you go. I appreciate it. My friend, congratulations. Thank you very much, Rudy.